Well, all that white is delaminated dry spots. So, that was a world of suck. Ripping up all of the overlaps. See, it's supposed to look like this. You can see the wood. Like that's a tiny dry spot, not gonna worry about it. Gotta, gotta cut off all that and remove it. And then redo with big strips of fiberglass. Oh my God, does it suck and it itches. Gotta, just that piece right there and then I can start fairing. Boy, oh boy, what did I do? On two thirds of my problem, fixed it. So there's the centerpiece right there. Just gotta wet this out, wet the centerpiece, but I've laid the fixes on the sides here on these chines. And today I'm gonna finish um, the middle chine here of the hull, but it's a beautiful 50 degrees. Down here, I purposely left that wet, or, or excuse me, dry, um, because I have to fill this little gap here between the rub rail and the boat. So I'm gonna end up putting epoxy and probably a, a piece of foam in there to kind of create more of a, a flare out to about the second board rather than it being a straight 90 degree angle. But these turned out spectacular compared to my original, put, uh, original pours. And uh, I mean, I even gouged some spots in the boat when I was removing the glass, but I cut all the crap out from that terrible dry job I did. And today I'm gonna go ahead and lay, while the weather's perfect, I'm gonna lay this one last piece on here and then I'm gonna start fairing, but it was a lot. I mean, it probably cost me an extra five or six hours of work when screwing that up when I should have put way more epoxy on originally, but it's my first boat build and live and learn, I guess, I mean. If that's the only snag up on this whole project, I'll be pretty pretty happy with it. Kind of roughed up the glass here so it'll take the epoxy later, but coming back here once we get it on.